who can you trust when the ones who are I took a long time thinking about doing it. Okay. I came back to <coughs> the States for <coughs> a brief time during the summer of 1965. And that's when the Watson Rebellion jumped off. And I knew this was just the first of a number to follow. And I was offered a job as a roving uh, street gang uh, worker. And I knew that uh, because of my uh, military uh, background, I could do what I wrote about. And after uh, having thought about it for a long time, I decided that my uh, skills as a propagandist, propagandist exceeded my military skills. So I decided to write it so that people I knew would do it, would do it right. Now because it was published so late, a lot of people assumed that I was writing out of the uh, headline. In effect, I was uh, anticipating and prophesying what was, what was going down. And if it had been published in 67, a lot of uh, black people might be still be alive now. Do you think they pulled your film in the 70s because they were scared that that would incite motivation across the country? Of course. It's a training film. It's not only about revolution, it's about how to do it. I had a brother call me up after having uh, viewed the film at the Roxbury Festival. He said, see, who's a military consultant? I said, what military consultant? I said, my MOS is 1542, man. Small unit commander. I was a military consultant. Okay? I was an uh, infantry officer from 52 to 54. Trained cadre. And I ran uh, military exercises until I dreamed, dreamed about it. I didn't need anybody to come and tell me about firepower, power, attack, defense, withdrawal, or how to adapt to a, a urban guerrilla uh, warfare. I had the skills. And I put them to use in the book, in the film. Matter of fact, uh, 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 Aubrey Lewis who was a uh, all-American running back at Notre Dame years ago, and among the first uh, blacks recruited into the FBI, said that he was when he was in the FBI, uh, the book "The Spook Who Sat by the Door" was required reading in their training class. Just to make it in the film. You, know, you couldn't uh, get the permits to shoot it in Chicago, so we sought refuge under uh, Mayor Hatcher and, uh, and Gary. And baby, they took care of us. My family. I mean, uh, the services that they provided were worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Okay. Um, the cops in the riot scene were not active. They were cops in their own uniform. Mm. Uh, when they drove on, onto the set of uh, police car, that wasn't in it. That was Gary Police. The one helicopter shot we got, uh, Ivan was uh, setting up his, his shot, and the chief of police came along and said, hey, man, would you like a helicopter shot? Ivan said, hell yeah. <laughs> so he got on his walkie-talkie. The police helicopter came, sat down in the street, cameraman got on with a hell handheld camera and shot it. That shot would have been worth a hundred, hundred fifty thousand dollars. And that was marvelous. You know. And the people just embraced us. Like for instance one time uh, uh, one of the white uh, technicians left his briefcase with his wallet, uh, credit cards and money in there under a, a street light. And of course, you know what happened. It disappeared. So, he left in the huff the next day. So I went out on the, uh, in the hood and wound, wound down through and said, look, man, uh, I don't need no names, but uh, 
we need that shit back. Next day, I got a call from the post office. And somebody dropped his briefcase into a postal box. Money was gone, but all the rest of the stuff was there and had not been used. Okay, that's the kind of status we had. And uh, we started shooting prior to um, Thanksgiving and Christmas. And most of these people were poor on welfare. And they put them down $50 a day as, uh, as extras. That was a real bonus. Now one of the things that happened is that uh, during the riot scene, <clears throat> we weren't using uh, extras. We pulled people up from the neighborhood. Okay. And the cops patrol that neighborhood. So for the first time, uh, the people had a legitimate shot at the cops' ass. Mm -hmm. That's why the riots are so authentic. Them cops are fighting for their lives. <laughs> so yeah, just, just the whole shooting of the film uh, on, uh, on location and gear. Really fantastic experience. Who can you trust when the ones who are?